I'm with associate head coach and Golden Flash's pitching coach, Mike Birkbeck. You've seen a lot of these great MAC tournament pitching performances. Yes. Yes. You had one last night. Yes. Where does this one by Eli rank? Well, under the circumstances, it ranks right up near the top. I mean, you cannot ask for anything more from him. Nine zeros in the biggest game of the year. And, you know, he had kind of a tough outing last week down in Miami, and we made a few adjustments, or he, I should say, made a few adjustments, and we're so darn proud of him. And I, like I told you in the pregame, He's one of the uh, most decorated players or pitchers that we've had, and he's climbing the charts and everything. And uh, he went out there and represented the university and his family and our baseball team as well as you could have hoped for. He's not a guy, Mike, that, that blows the radar gun up, but he competes, and he's now tied for second on the all-time wins list. I know it, but you know what? If you have good stuff, and but you really, really compete, your stuff elevates. And I think you've watched that for four years with that young man. He competes. He wants to be great. And you know what? He is. You've always said, and this has stuck with me, that you love this job because you truly believe in Midwestern kids. And it's it's been great to see yesterday a guy from southwest Pennsylvania get it done and today a northeast Ohio guy. You aren't kidding. You know, they're tough kids, but they do things the right way. Everything that I ask those guys to do in their career here, be it do the chart, do the radar gun, run, whatever we ask them to do, they do it to the best of their ability. And then when they get into the game, it shows up. They don't have anything to, to, to regret or look back on. They just work their tails off. Well, it's another championship and a, another instance in which you win the regular and postseason. Nobody but the Golden Flashes seem to be able to know how to do that, but what another great year. It was a wonderful year, and we're so darn proud of these guys. And the, the best part of this year, Ty, it's not over, baby. All right, go enjoy it, Berkey. And as you may have heard, the Golden Flashes head coach, Jeff Duncan, just got absolutely doused. Hey, thank you, Jacob. And we are with Eli Krause. And um, first of all, Eli, congratulations. Thank your 26th you. career win. Yeah. Your second year in a row where you've had a complete game shutout in MAC postseason play. Yeah, it was fun, man. I mean, I, I, don't, I kind of had a loss of words for this one. It's a championship game. This is what you dream about when you're, you know, a grade schooler in the backyard playing with your siblings. Like, game seven for, for our case, game three, man, it was how tough to them. That was incredible. That was an offensive laser show. What did you have success with, particularly tonight on the mound? Uh, I just felt like I had good command of my fastball. I was able to mix in some off-speed early in the count and steal a strike and then work off that. I think that was the goal. Did you kind of feed off what Jared did last night? Absolutely. I mean, when you see a guy like that, you know. Let's go! He got him. Oh, my God. It has to feel pretty darn good. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Something about Jared last yeah, night. I mean, you see a guy like that do that, man. You know, he and I pitch a lot alike. So when I can, I can learn from that and feed off of that. And it was just, it, he did amazing. It was awesome to watch. What a career! By your own admission, it, it, you have fun with yourself. You say, I don't throw hard. How do you do it? I just try to steal as many strikes as I can early in the count, and then use. Uh, I, you know, spend a couple years working on my changeup, so I like to get away with that. But. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like to try to get them, let them get themselves out. Soft contact. That's my, uh, that's my go-to. Here, here's one you might find interesting. Tonight, you erased Eric Lauer's name by throwing the, <laughs> the most recent complete game two-hit shutout. Oh well, <laughs> I'll let him know. I'll text him. I'm sure you will. <laughs> and we're done. Congratulations. Thanks, Ty. I appreciate you it. You got it. You got it. Thank you. All right, we will uh, try to grab Paven Parks here, who's right, right next door. And how about, uh, how about postseason play for you? You're not nervous at all. No, I mean. Just like Coach Dunk always talks about, it's a big time to step up, and you know our team stepped up and we played great, and you know we were ready for this. Any particular changes you made once this postseason play began? Because you you had that great approach at the plate all year long. Um, no, I mean I just try to stay within myself and you know kind of what I've been doing, trying to stay back a little bit, make sure I'm seeing the ball a little bit better than even normal. So that was kind of my keys. How about the home run? Uh, you know, he beat me a couple a couple of bats in a row, and I just didn't want to get beat that at bat. I fell behind, and, you know, I, I felt a breaking ball was coming, and I sat on it and squared it up. You had uh, some emotion. You're not a guy that shows a lot of emotion, but you definitely were around the bases, weren't you? Yeah, I was pretty excited. It was just kind of like the exclamation point on the game and uh, to a great night and, you know, a great, great time for our team. What can you tell us about Jared Skolnicki last night and Eli Kraus tonight? Just tough. Both of them were tough. Uh, you know, they battled, and and gave us, put us in great opportunities to win. If, if the other team doesn't score or doesn't score much, you know, you can't really lose, so. Haven, congratulations. Thank you. That's Haven Parks.
and say congratulations for Thanks, the second Scott. time. You. You've guided the Golden Flashes to the Mid-American Conference pennant. Just your overall thoughts right now. I'm just so proud of the team. You know, we've worked so hard uh, from uh, the beginning of September to now, and this is obviously a huge goal of ours, And but it's a process, and the guys bought into it, and I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of the seniors um, that, that are, you know, uh, we're still playing baseball, you know, and, and uh, they put so much hard work in here in the four and five years they've been here, and I'm so proud of them that they're they're able to, uh, to uh, you know, go out their senior year and win this tournament, and we're going to the NCAA tournament. So. This club wins three straight MAC regular season titles, yet it had a sense of unfinished business, didn't it? Absolutely. You know, um, you know, we, we definitely want to put the exclamation point on the, on the season, and uh, we're obviously still got a long way to go and going into the NCAA tournament, but... Uh, you know, I'm so proud of them. You know, this has been a uh, this has been a long thing coming. It's been what three, four years now, four years. So, and uh, we've come up short, unfortunately. But uh, we're living for the moment right now, and I'm really enjoying this night. Well, just announced Eli Krause, the most valuable player. Gosh, he took what Jared did last night and just fed off it. Yeah, he did. Absolutely. He just. Uh, you know, he's Eli Krause. He's a big, big time pitcher, big game pitcher, and, and uh, anytime, anytime there's a big stage, he, he lives for it, and uh, that's what you want on the mound. How about your offense? These three games, uh, you know, eight in the first game, seven last night, and then an explosion tonight. Yeah, you know, just uh, that was one of the things that we needed to do, you know, especially in this term, is defend and, and uh, do a little better job offensively, and we, we certainly did that. Um, you know, hats off to Coach Simmons and Coach Caldwell, uh, you know, just doing a great job, you know, transforming this offense and, and getting it to where it is today. It's hard, Coach, has been proven over the last 20 years or so to win both the regular season and the postseason, yet now the Golden Flashes have done it 2011, 2012, and 2018. Yeah, it's, it's a good feeling. You know, obviously it's great to be a champion. It's great to be a regular season champion, but... Uh, it's it's this is a, a huge accomplishment, uh, excuse me, accomplishment for this program and, and moving forward too as well and and uh, just to you know come out of this tournament that's it's very bittersweet. One last one before we let you go. Just take a look over here and you got all this blue and gold that just filled the stands this week and waited out a rain delay and yeah. you've got a great following, both regular fans and a lot of alumni. Oh yeah, our alumni is the best in the country and. Uh, I'm so, th this is for the alumni as well. They're so proud, and, and they've, they've built this great tradition that we have here at Kent State. And we're just proud to follow their steps and, and uh, keep continuing it. Congratulations, Coach. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate it. All right, we'll go back upstairs to Jacob.